Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we have an interesting issue that has raised the worldwide community's interest that will blow your mind. Prepare to be surprised as we delve into the surprising turn of events surrounding the Chinese Mega Project 2023. China is investing trillions of dollars to build massive projects all around the world this 2023. Let's embark on this interesting journey together. As we uncover the amazing story of how, where, and when China built these mega projects, we will discover the fascinating considerations that inspire these major projects as we dig into the fascinating world of the makers. Join us as we examine and know if there is more to the story than joining us in this journey. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned to discover the reality behind this. China is pouring trillions of yuan into infrastructure construction, a boost that may help the world's second largest economy far beyond the gloom of COVID lockdowns and housing market upheaval this year. Beijing is allocating 6.8 trillion yuan or about $1 trillion in government cash for development projects. When bank financing and corporate money are included in, total spending might be three times that amount, according to some estimates. Infrastructure investment might enhance employment in the short term, offering much-needed respite to millions of job seekers affected by the slump. Longer term, the stimulus aids China's objective of becoming a more urbanized, high-income economy capable of competing with the U.S. in high-tech areas such as semiconductors. Whether the projects are successful or become white elephants will help define China's future for years to come. Here's a breakdown of where the money is going. 1. Renewables North China's deserts are destined to host an unprecedented buildup of renewable energy. In recent months, work has begun on wind and solar power bases, which will include roughly the same amount of renewable capacity as Europe now has by 2030. The first phase, consisting of around 100 gigatons of turbines and solar panels, is scheduled to be finished next year, with a second 450 gigatons phase beginning this year. The second phase would cost more over 3 trillion yuan. The electricity will be delivered to the highly populated eastern shore using ultra-high voltage transmission lines. This year, China's state-owned grid firm intends to construct 13 of them. According to Australia and New Zealand Banking Group, China's overall green investment might exceed 2.6 trillion yuan this year alone if renewable energy and power transmission investments are included. 2. Dams, Canals and Reservoirs Canal, dam and reservoir construction has been accelerated, with more than 800 billion yuan slated to be invested on these projects this year. The most ambitious is the South North Water Transfer Project a 200-kilometer-long tunnel that would transport water from the Yangtze River to a reservoir that will feed northern China. It would be the world's longest water tunnel, surpassing Finland's existing record, and portions of it would extend as deep as one kilometer underground. China has quietly been moving towards a highly integrated water supply network, the expert stated in a recent paper. Such a network will enable the Chinese government to move water on an unprecedented scale. The government also favors the project since they require a lot of labor. According to the country's water ministry, around 30,000 active water conservation initiatives employ approximately 1 million people. 3. Urban Infrastructure Greener cities from concrete sprawl Building urban infrastructure such as urban highways, gas and water pipe networks and parks is the most popular choice for local governments which account for the majority of China's infrastructure investment. The most recent design entails connecting existing cities into a unified region. A zone designated surrounding the city of Xi'an in March, for example, has a current population of 18 million people. The huge and daring building projects done by China, many of which are referred to as mega projects. Industrial parks, which provide low-cost amenities to enterprises, are another preferred investment of local governments. According to official figures, local governments spent almost one-third of bond proceeds on urban infrastructure and industrial parks in the first quarter. At that pace, they may spend around 1.4 trillion yuan on such projects only this year. The 20 billion yuan Qingdao Integrated Circuit Park in eastern China, which opened this year in an effort to boost the chip sector, which has become a national priority owing to U.S. sanctions, is a prime example. However, success is far from certain. 4. High-Speed Rail China already has 40,000 kilometers of high-speed rail, more than twice as much as the rest of the world combined, and dozens more large-scale projects are in the works. The most ambitious is a 1,629-kilometer route from Sichuan Province in the southwest to the Tibetan capital Lhasa, which climbs over 3,000 meters over earthquake-prone terrain and glaciers. 
It is anticipated to be finished by 2030. The overall cost of the project is around 320 billion yuan. China said this year that it intends to have 70,000 kilometers of high-speed rail by 2035. However, this means a 40% decrease in the quantity of track developed per year compared to the previous five-year space. These programs were designed to improve the country's economic status and increase the breadth of its worldwide influence. China's outrageously massive mega-projects include the construction of the world's tallest bridge, the world's longest underwater tunnel, the world's fastest rail network, and the world's biggest observatory. Let's get moving and look at some of these projects. The highest bridge in the world China currently holds the record for the greatest elevation any place on the planet. This bridge joins the provinces of Yunnan and Kus and southwest by passing across the canyon made up by the Beep and River. The vertical distance from the deck of the bi-punching bridge to the ground below is 1,854 feet 565 meters, making it the highest bridge in the world. The bridge's elevation at the Bipin River crossing is 1,854 feet 565 meters. The bridge's construction began in 2013 and lasted another three years before it was finished in 2016. It measures 4,396 feet from end to end and 1,340 meters from bend to end. Because of these numerous factors, the bridge traverses a canyon with a depth of more than 360 meters or 1,200 feet and is vulnerable to heavy winds and earthquakes. The bridge building was a difficult task that required engineers and builders to employ cutting-edge technology and engineering techniques to effectively construct the bridges to gigantic pillars and secure the structure's stability and safety. China's Underwater Tunnel The tunnel is a key traffic infrastructure development project in the neighborhood of Wuzi which is located in China's Jiangsu province. It is a totally underwater tunnel that runs for around 6.5 kilometers or 4 miles beneath China's Tahu Lake, one of the country's largest freshwater lakes. The Tahu Tunnel was constructed between 2011 at a cost of roughly $10 billion. Chinese Yu on the tunnel was named after the Taiyi River that runs beneath it. 2006 was the year when construction first began on this building, which equated to around $1.5 billion at the time and us terms the structure of the tunnel which is designed to withstand an earthquake with a magnitude of a 2.0 and consists of two independent tubes, each of which has two lanes to handle the flow of earthquake-resistant fecal traffic which C and BCs are connected by way of the tunnel which is a vital connection between the two cities. It used to take more than an hour to go from one city to the other, but today it just takes 10 minutes. This is a significant reduction in travel time. Furthermore, it connects the region's main highways such as the Beijing-Shanghai Expressway and the Shanghai-Nanjing Expressway make it an incredibly beneficial asset despite the fact that it required drilling through soft mud off the lake bottom. In addition to dealing through difficult geological conditions, the building of the tunnel was a significant engineering feat. This was made feasible by the fact that the TLing tunnel was created, as well as the utilization of specialized equipment and technology, such as a massive tunnel boring machine and waste for pouring concrete underwater. The tunnel has become an important feature of China's transportation infrastructure, making it easier for the Chinese economy to expand and increase communication between cities located in various areas. It also demonstrates China's technical prowess in addition to the country's technological dominance. China's Insanely Fast Train Network Over the last 10 years, China has built an absolutely spectacular high-speed rail network. The United States High-Speed Rail Network is expected to reach roughly 22,000 miles or 35,000 kilometers of track by 2023 with a total length equivalent to that distance. As a result, it'll have the world's largest and fastest high-speed rail network. The establishment of China's high-speed rail network, which allows trains to reach speeds of up to 270 miles per hour or 355 kilometers per hour. The network, which connects significant metropolitan areas and communities, has fundamentally changed the way people travel around the country. As a result, millions of people will have less time to travel and will have better access to places. Aside from enhancing China's economy, the construction of a high-speed rail network has resulted in the creation of new employment and the expansion of the transportation industry. As a result of the Chinese government's billion-dollar investment in the project, a number of industry experts have raised worry that the system may not be able to sustain its profitability in the long run due to the enormous amount of energy and resources necessary for its operation and maintenance. 
The construction of a high-speed rail network in China was a massive undertaking that resulted in significant improvements to travel and connectivity throughout the country. However, this highlights a number of challenges and obstacles that must be overcome in order to successfully create and maintain an infrastructure project of the scope and complexity. The largest telescope in the world The 500-meter aperture spherical telescope is the largest telescope that can be found anywhere on the planet. It is located in China, more specifically in the Donning Depression, and it took five years and approximately $180 million to build. It is a radio telescope with only one dish, which implies that it only has one extremely big dish and relies on that dish alone to gather radio waves from space. Each of the 44 to 50 separate panels that make up the plate may be reconfigured into an up parabolic pattern. The game is made up of these panels, and the goal of the fast spaceship is to investigate the beginnings of the universe, explore for signs of intelligent life beyond the bounds of our solar system, and investigate pulsars and other celestial bodies. Because of its large size and high sensitivity, it can detect signals from outer space that other types of telescopes cannot. This ability allows it to do things that other types of telescopes cannot. It has already produced a number of notable discoveries, one of which was the discovery of more than 100 new pulsars. Other noteworthy discoveries made by fast pulsars include a type of neutron star with a very quick rotation rate and radiation picture beams. Furthermore, it has aided in the research of the components that comprise the interstellar medium as well as the mapping of the hydrogen distribution in the Milky Way. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating trip as we've successfully looked at China 2023 mega projects. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more fascinating insights into the world of mega China projects.